Hey everybody, my name is Paul. Uh, in today's video, I'll be giving you a tour of my shop, everything I've done in it, everything I moved around. Um, I know I didn't post for a while. Um, I had just too many things going on all at once and I wanted to kind of get my shop close to being organized and I just had to do it. Um, then I had to fix one of the vehicles that I did show you guys previously and I did fix it, but I lost some of the footage on it. So most likely I'm not gonna put up a video about it. Let's start it with our dismantling shop show you what I've done to it and kind of go from there so as you can see I got all new shelving up in here I am thinking about leaving all this too and getting more shelves um, basically a vehicle pulls in in here another vehicle will be in there two vehicles um, I will make a bench or like a workstation then like a toolbox area then my tire machines to pull off tires I really don't fix any wheels or repair anything unless it's like something for myself but um, all my plugs this would be another bench for my employee that's his toolbox so he's bringing more stuff in to fill in it might be here it might be there I'm still not too sure but that's just what I currently have and my goal is by the end of the week which today is Friday actually never mind by the end of next week to get all of this off the floor and on the shelves and I am waiting for my wire grits or wire decking whatever they're called I just ordered it uh, a day ago hopefully it'll be here by the end of the week but yeah this is what currently is happening here um, finally that vehicle that I needed to repair is gone so this is clearing up and that's going to be the workbench one of the lifts this one's going to go there and I am hoping to go ahead and buy one a two post so it'll be right in front of that door just if I need to repair anything on my vehicles I'll do that um, and then I'm actually also needing to get all my air done that's kind of going across and I'll put a spool probably on this beam then keep it going because I need air for that air uh, tire machine then most likely I'll put another spool and then two outlets on each bench that, that way we can use air tools whenever we need to. Office didn't really change much. Still as messy as it was a while back. Just got two shelves in here, two displays. Um, and this place it didn't really didn't change much either. But it's all going to. This is where we take all our photos, which all of this it's either gonna stay right behind this wall and I'll make a doorway so whenever we clean the parts they'll just come in right in here or this would actually go up there uh, this is where all the change happened and it had to happen quick because if you're uh, selling stuff it has to be all moved it is a little darker in here because all the lights are behind all that stuff so I got all this figured out barcoded everything um, all those engines are going to go into the other shop that I just showed you on all those shelves that we don't use. So, And here I'll put one more row of uprights going through and that's all going to be our shipping station. All our boxes and that door and this door kind of will be all shipping related. So FedEx, UPS, USPS, they all come in through here, pick up their stuff and leave. Um, bins this is going to be a row of all bins there's more pallet wrecking that I gotta put up this is the last shelf standing from what I've had previously which I can't move it until I have a whole row of shelving built right there just to get everything situated so most of these shelves do have a ton of boxes on them um, as you can see up here I keep a lot of boxes from the wheels which my neighbor gives me which I do really appreciate him for it um, bubble wrap foam uh, pull noodles I use those a bunch and right now I'm actually planning on going and buying out everything I can because usually in the winter time you can't find them but yeah got all these shelves pretty much the way I like him there's maybe few things I'm still hoping on changing um, and a few different ways that I want to kind of organize. 
See, everything is with barcodes. But all my old parts are still with my old tags. There's just no point of changing everything and everything that's new has a different bar tag, which I will talk about this system which we're using. We're still learning a bunch with it and I don't wanna say anything about them just yet. I wanna kinda get the feel for it, maybe post three or four cars with it and then I might give you guys a little um, idea how I like it, what I like about it, what I don't. But right now, as of right now, it's perfectly fine as is. There is a few glitches here and there. Um, some things are just kind of um, slow in comparison to today's technology, but uh, the company is trying. They're working very hard, um, and their customer service is probably one of the best I've, I've had in a long time. So all of these will eventually, this wall will be gone which we already got some of the rails off. This is coming off soon. So all of these rows are gonna go all the way to that wall. Uh, the only thing that I am thinking of is either keeping this closer somewhere in this area, or it would be right where this window is and this door. And uh, what I'm looking to do is right here, so the next upright would be a half short beams. They're not like these eight foot ones, they're a six or a five foot one. And I'm planning on putting them enough, uh, high enough so we can walk past it. So this would be kind of the main aisle and then you just branch off either way. So that's the idea. I'm st it's, still, it's still hard to figure that out, um, but this wall does need to go. It just, it's in the way and it's taking up 12 inches of my shop. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I've done up here. Um, if you guys have any questions about it, I am gonna uh, do a lot more uh, in depth maybe on this. I just kinda wanted to give you an overview. And if you do have any questions, and I've been reading through all your comments, I am gonna try to um, make some more videos about packing. I've had some guys and ladies ask about how I ship big items, like doors, engines, freight, basically. I am ha planning on that, but it'll have to be a certain day where it's not as busy, and I'll have one or two freight packages to do, so I'll just record that. And here in general, uh, I do thank you, every one of you that subscribed to my channel and comments, likes on it, so thank you guys so much. Bye.